Hello again. I am fascinated by the hysteria about the fluctuations in the average temperature of Earth over the years. Sometimes it is very hot and there are no ice caps at all on the planet. And at other times it is very cold with glaciers reaching London. Nobody really knows why this should be, although there are many theories. Two things puzzle me about the very modern obsession with trying to prevent the temperature of the planet rising by one or two degrees. The first thing to consider is, of course, that it is quite impossible for us to control the climate in that way, and that we cannot possibly make the whole planet cooler or hotter just because we wish to do so. Older viewers will know that such schemes have been advanced before, but with the opposite intention, that is to say, to try and make the earth warmer rather than cooler. Here's a book published 50 years ago when all the evidence suggested that the earth was getting colder rather than hotter. This was anthropogenic cooling caused by pollution from factory chimneys. It says here, and I quote, duh, duh, duh. Records going back to the 14th century show that the Northern Hemisphere has been cooling gradually, producing more severe winters. Since 1940, Britain has experienced five winters with a whole month averaging below freezing point, while there were none between 1896 and 1939. The winter of 1962 was the worst since 1740. So, and now we come to the point of how this was caused by human activity and what could be done about it. Mankind's own activities may be hastening the return of the ice. The millions of tons of dust that pour into the atmosphere from factory chimneys all over the world prevent sunlight getting through and so make the planet cooler. Well, that's interesting that pollution is actually making the earth colder rather than hotter. And here's a good scheme. Can anything be done to stave off a new ice age? One possible method would be to spread vast areas of black plastic over the creeping glaciers, or scatter millions of tons of coal dust on them. The black material would absorb more of the sun's heat and melt the ice. Yes, I'm not sure if that sounds like a brilliant scheme, but either way it's hopelessly impractical. It's all mad and hopeless. I was prompted to think about this by the news that some two million year old DNA has been recovered from northern Greenland, which is today a frozen and desolate wasteland where nothing grows. Two million years ago though, according to the DNA that's been found, it was a lovely place to live, as can be seen from the artist's impression in the thumbnail to this video. That was at a time, two million years ago, when the average temperature of planet Earth was 15 degrees higher than it is now. In other words, about 10 times that 1.5 degrees increase that everybody is panicking about at the moment. Speaking for myself, I think Greenland looks much nicer in those days. I don't get why we would prefer an icy desert to the pleasant land, which, as can be seen in the picture, northern Greenland once was. The other thing which puzzles me is why we think that the temperature that we enjoyed in the 1970s are in some sense the natural and correct temperature of our planet. Why are we so determined to keep the Earth that warm and no warmer? Why was the temperature 2 million years ago when the average temperature was 15 degrees higher than it is now, not the natural temperature? Not that there's anything we can do about it, but why does everybody think that we should do all in our power to keep the average temperature at 57 degrees Fahrenheit rather than 60 or 40? I'm genuinely puzzled by this.